SQL, or SQL, is the language that allows us to interact with information stored in a SQL type database. Any action we need to take on a database or information stored in it can be achieved with the SQL syntax. One awesome thing about SQL is that many of the commands will work on any type of relational database. So everything we'll learn in this lesson for Postgres will be the same on a MySQL or other relational database. Let's take a look at the syntax. We're going to start with opening an interactive Postgres terminal called PSQL. To do that, we'll type PSQL, and for my local environment, I have to add some extra information. But for you, it will just be PSQL and Postgres, where Postgres is the user connecting to the Postgres interactive terminal. Now we've entered the PSQL interactive Postgres terminal, and you can see that the beginning of our terminal line has changed. This tells us that we're writing SQL now, and pay attention to the beginning of this line because we'll talk more about it later. So this is SQL land, but where are we? There's no database here yet because we haven't created one. In SQL, we can create a new database like this. In SQL, it is convention to write command words in all caps and user input values in lowercase. But this is only for developer convenience. Postgres doesn't actually care. User input, like database names or other values, are also written lowercase and with underscores rather than camel case or with dashes. So let's make a new database. Database names are usually plural and identify the environment that they are for. So usually production, development, testing, etc. So in this case, I'm going to say, this database is going to hold plants and it's for my development environment. So when I run this command, oh no, nothing happened. Why did nothing happen? Well, one of the things to watch out for in SQL is that you have to end your commands with a semicolon. I didn't end my command with a semicolon, and therefore my line has not ended. Postgres tells me that my line is continuing by changing the beginning of the line from the equal sign to the dash. You have to kind of pay attention when this is happening because it can cause bigger problems later on, but thankfully if you catch it now, it's not that bad and it's really easy to fix. So what I can do is even though this is a new line, just add a semicolon, hit enter, and it will tell me that the database was created and everything is good. So we have a database and the beginning of our terminal line is back to normal, but we can't do anything with our database until we connect to it. We connect to a database with the backslash C command and then the name of the database. And now we are connected to the plants dev as our user. This just happens to be my user. Each user will be different for your environment. You'll notice that in PSQL, system level commands that allow you to move amongst, manage, and view information about databases on the system use the backslash character before them. These commands are known as meta commands, and they are the only ones that don't need semicolons after them. And before I let you go, I have one more really important meta command for you. A common question is, how do you get out of PSQL? You might feel trapped because the usual tricks won't work. Command C, escape, Q, etc. So what do you do? The meta command you need will be backslash Q for quit. This will get you back to the normal terminal. So now we have a database and we can connect to it. If you want to PSQL directly into a certain database, you can actually just type PSQL and then the name of your database as a small shortcut. So now that we have a database, but it's still empty, we have decisions to make about how to structure the information that we want to store. And that will be the topic of the next video.